this will go on to the two by six, like so, that you're just screwing into the top surface of this log, and this is gonna slide down like so, but you really gotta watch your feet. This worked good yesterday. Um, this comes, these little insert bolts come with uh, this little mill. There we go, you can see the threads there. Well, those go and tighten against the bar but I've seen uh, some trouble yesterday right here because that can't there was a little bit of slipping and it hit that bottom piece right there so I'm gonna just showing you this before I take this off I want to sharpen this blade and I'm going to do what most people hesitate about. Just drill a couple of holes that are already there to drill through. They tell you that in the directions. And I can see a, a benefit to it. But before you do that, you want to set it up to where there's plenty of room for this chain to move through. So I have my two holes drilled. And this is going to be a little tricky because instead of those two holes, they don't come out over here. So what I'll do is use one of the nuts that came with it. I'm going to put it in here because I'll have some room in here. I've also gotten me a, a quarter inch lock washer. I'm gonna to try to hold these in here while I'm sliding the bolt through there. That should uh, take care of the other method where you have to drill the holes in there. I feel better about that than I do uh, the other. These, these hold okay, but when they don't hold, it could ruin a blade in a hurry. The ones that go over here on this side like so. You can do that if you want. This is just an option that I'm using. And what you could do is... You could turn this while you hold this over here on the other side with your needle nose. And by the way, this is a 7 16 head on this bolt. Now I have my 20 inch chainsaw here. And, and I can measure this and go up to the other end there but to get that alignment you come down here 
and look at your mark. You can see that needs to be adjusted a little bit. So I would just slide this board this way. And you can put a little pre-drilled hole right here with your screw towards the main end if you're worried about splitting. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. I always try to cut the logs if they're going to be eight foot. Try to cut them a little bit longer. That way you can cut off the end. Make sure that's nice and smooth. This is a 10 foot board and that's an eight foot log. So when I slide this back, this chainsaw, it's gonna come right here. It's gonna get pretty close to the ground. So I'm gonna angle the chainsaw back right here. And the best way to do that is to have this 10 foot board There you have it, a new board.